Hello everyone, Sharif Abu Zaid here with a new video. And in today's video, I want to show you how you can create this landing page where you can ask people to sign up to your newsletter. And this is the process that the people will go through when they try to sign up to your newsletter. They will add their name and email address here. And when they click sign up now, they will be redirected into a thank you page where you can thank them for their subscription and ask them to confirm their subscription by checking their inbox. And then they will be added to your email marketing platform of choice. For example, you can add them to MailerLite or MailChimp or ConvertKit or ActiveCampaign or FluentCRM. Then you can send them weekly emails to promote your offers or even just to send them updates about your website. And if you stay to, till the end of this video, I'm going to show you a bonus tip that will increase the number of signups to your um, newsletter subscription. Now let me show you quickly how you can design this landing page. Now, to design this landing page, we need to we need two things. We need a page builder. I'll be using the Canvas Blocks page builder to design this landing page because this is my um, um, uh, my chosen uh, page builder plugin. And also, you need to have an email marketing platform. You can choose, as I mentioned, Mailchimp or ConvertKit or MailerLite. But I'll be using the Fluent CRM email marketing automation for WordPress plugin because I like it very much. It works. Uh, very quickly, very nicely, even better than something like MailChimp. Now, the first step is to create our opt-in form, which is the email and email and email opt-in form. To do this, I will go to Cadence and then I choose Forms, and I will click to add a new post. And this is usually means adding a new form. And let's give this a title. Let's call this newsletter. Newsletter to form for example because i have already created one and then you can choose a layout i will choose this layout subscription with a name and the email address and then i will choose the basic style as i mentioned i give this a name let's say yes newsletter form 2 this is the name of our form and let's click create once you do this now we have the email and uh, name we can just you know what you can just uh, use this and add it to your landing page but i like to make some designs here so just you know click here to remove this now to change the design and the layout of your form for example i like to have the name at the top of the email we need to click this toggle our document overview and this is the layout of the form itself we have a roll out then we have a section that contains the name and then we have a section that contains the email itself if you like to have the name just below the name you can simply do this by dragging the name the email and add it below uh, the name field here now we have the name and email just below each other if you like to get rid of this section here we can just uh, we just need to go to the rolly out and for the columns under the layout options we can make this a one column layout to make this center aligned we can just choose the submit button you can choose this to make this centered and also you can click here to change the text to be sign up now okay now we are almost there now to um i think that's i think i think the layout now is complete now we need to connect this layout or this form to our email marketing platform and we can do this by clicking the form the advanced form options themselves and here we can choose uh, the submit under submit actions we can choose to connect to our email marketing platform we can first we can choose to redirect to another page and then we need to choose to connect to fluent CRM. of course you can connect this to vertkit or active campaign or um miller light but i think the free version of cadence uh, blocks comes with miller light and fluent CRM. if you like to connect this to um convert Kit or active campaign or mailchimp your preview you need to have the premium version of cadence blocks down below i'll be leaving my affiliate link for cadence blocks pro if you like to buy it but i like to connect this to fluencer m as i mentioned and now we need to choose the settings for the redirect and also the settings for fluent crm for the redirect i like to redirect to a thank you page this is my thank you page and for fluent crm i like to add this to my uh, leads list and then i like i like to add my free uh, checklist uh, downloads of course i can change the name of the tag to email newsletters or newsletter subscriptions and i like to, and then i need to map my fields this is very important to uh, make the form work 
I will choose for the name, I will choose the first name, and for the field, I will choose for the email field, I will choose the email field. If you like them to double opt in, you can just check this for the people to opt in to be able to um, to be added to your um, newsletter subscription list, and then click update. Now we have already created our um, opt-in form. Now we need to add this to a landing page. To do this, we need to go back to our dashboard here. Let's create uh, let's create a new page. Here, uh, let's call this a newsletter. Newsletter. Sign up to. And let's add a row layout. Let's click here. Let's add a row. One column row. Click here. Add a heading. Let's add a heading. And let's call this sign up to news letter. And let's add a text below it. Let's say sign up now and get the latest news from our website, for example. From let me add this here. And make this all of this let's all make all of this central lined under section settings now we need to add our sign up form to do this we need to click here to add after click to search for the form choose the advanced form let's choose our form here and let's click select now we have our form as you can see inside this landing page if you like to you know change the background of the um rolly out we can just again choose the roll out itself here change the background to be green like this we want to change the font size or the font color sorry of the um of the text here under style again we can go to text color settings make this white and now we have everything almost in place maybe we need to change the placing of the name and the email and also change the background color of the form itself now we don't have to go back to the form section we can actually choose the form from here and here we can make many changes so let me choose the text let me choose first the button sorry under style and i can change the background to be black and also i can for the hover state i can make this uh, black too and let's click publish and let's click save and I will need to check if we can make this to the left. Let me go to the section itself. Text, let's make this left. Yes, now the name and email address are to the left. Let's click update. Let's click save. And let's view the page. Let's see how it will look like. Now, this is our newsletter landing page. Maybe we need to remove the title and the header. And this can be done very easily with any modern uh, a WordPress theme but because I'm using the cadence theme I can just go here under the page settings I can disable the title and also disable the header let's click update and let's refresh the page now this is our newsletter landing page let me test it so let's add a name and um, let's say newsletter at gmail.com and let's click sign up now now we are redirected into the thank you page. Let me go to uh, the Fluent CRM settings and see under the contacts. And now I should be, yes, this is the newsletter at Gmail. Email has been added to my um, email list where I can send them weekly emails and updates about my offers and also updates about my blog post. Now, because you have stayed till the end of this video, let me tell you about the bonus tip. Now, to increase the number of signups to your newsletter, you need to show this sign up form to as many people as you can and you can simply do this by adding a sidebar widget where you can ask people to sign up to your newsletter and you don't have to create a new uh, section or form to do this what you can actually do or you what you actually need to do is that you need to click here and just copy the role out here and let's go to the back end of the website and let's go to appearance under widgets and let's click here let's click paragraph and let's paste the widget here and first you know let me show you what now with the um the website posters looks like so these are this is how my blog posters uh, look like now if i click here and click update and i go to under the customizer tab i go to the single posts and pages layout single post 
and here I will choose to show let me choose the yes the sidebar layout you'll find the uh, sign up news sign up to newsletter uh, widget is appearing now inside each and every blog post inside my website by doing this you'll find more people to sign up to your newsletter so this is how easy you can add a two types of sign up forms to your uh, website you can create a separate landing page for the sign up to your newsletter uh, landing page and also you can add a widget as uh, inside your sidebar so you can ask more people to sign up to your newsletter hopefully you find this video helpful if you like it please give me a thumbs up and also please to consider or please consider to subscribe to my youtube channel because i create similar videos every single week now thank you so much and see you in the next video